The first one I want to talk about is where Claire is sort of just under the surface of the water, where the dinosaur is coming right up to the to the surface there. It's in the trailer. Everybody loves it. It's really beautifully shot. Um, I'd love to hear from you the way that you achieve that. Okay, so that was, you know, again, I've been doing this for a long time, and I, I knew technically how to do it. So <clears throat> first of all, that's at a, that, that location is called Black Park. It's right behind Pinewood Studios. Back before Pinewood was Pinewood, it used to be a big, what they call an estate. It was like a big farm, and it got converted and split up. So Black Park is still a, a park where people go. It's huge. Uh, and Star Wars shoots there, and we shot there. Uh, and it's, it's very convenient. You can literally, there's a gate that you can walk out the back of Pinewood and be in Black Park. So wow, that's so crazy. Where, we picked where we were going to be based on the sunlight travel. And then I knew that Colin wanted her to climb into this pond. So we excavated that. And, you know, and like in everything in Hollywood, we dug it out. We lined it with three mil plastic. We treated the water so it was safe and we filled it up. And then I designed the length of the pond so that we could start with the camera on a techno crane, which is a telescoping crane arm. Essentially, it, <clears throat> it's an arm that can extend or retract. Mm-hmm. And it's got about 37 feet. The 50 foot crane has 37 feet of movement. So I, we designed where the base of the crane was going to go, knowing that we could get all the way over the water and five or six feet up the path and be able to go with Bryce as she crawled, then pull back over the water. And then when she went underwater, we would dip the camera down. And then when she came back up, we would come up with her all in one shot. <laughs> now, the only tricky thing is cameras. You can't put a camera in the water, right? Cameras in water are, that's no bueno. Um, And so Panavision makes a lens system that's kind of like a, what would be the right word? A periscope, right? It, 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 It comes out straight and then it makes, you can turn the end of it so that it's, it's 90 degrees. So basically what you're now doing is pointing the camera straight down. The lens extends about two and a half feet below the front of the camera and then the, then the end of the lens turns, so it's pointed straight again. Mm. And then Panavision, for lack of a better term, makes what's called a condom for it that's made out of neoprene rubber with a glass filter that you can slip over it so you can put that in the water. You, I mean, I'm sure people have seen commercials with Michael Phelps swimming where they go from above to below, and that's the device you use. So that's essentially how we did it. And, uh, and Bryce, God love her. She is game for everything, right? She, the, the harder and the more physical it is, the more she wants to do it. She doesn't want anybody doing anything for her unless it's, you know, they say to her, look, you, we can't have you jump off of one rooftop to the other because of insurance. She'll do everything. Uh, and it's, I love that shot. I mean, look, it's a bit of a shout out to apocalypse now. Um, but my only thing I would say is, and I know it's a, it's one of those things like, what? I almost think it's too cosmetically pretty. I mean, Bryce has the most incredible skin, and I've known her for a long time. I've known her since she was like 13 years old when I shot a movie for her father. So not that I don't take care of all of the actors, but I, you know, when she's in front of the camera, I'm always going to make sure that there's not a shadow where I don't want it. And on that shot, when she comes up, I almost worry, God, does she look too pretty with those green eyes? But I do love the shot. I love, I love her intensity. You know I mean? It's not just the camera. It's the camera and her doing a dance. And that's the part of cinematography that's so exciting. The moment you really notice the shot, You've taken yourself out of the movie for that five seconds. When it all comes together and you think about it afterward, you go, that was really cool. That means you've done something right. I I can certainly make shots all day long with shafts of light coming through windows and silhouettes walking in the foreground where you go, that's really beautiful. But the moment you say that's really beautiful, you've suddenly lost the narrative, right? So you're trying to walk that line. 
We all, every cinematographer does that. 